Hi, I'm Matt. And I'm Dave. And in this Magento Basics tutorial, you're going to learn how to create a new administration user in Magento. And this is so easy to do. So follow us along in your system. And Dave, let's go and do this. And we're going to catch up with you in our Magento system. And like I said, do follow us along. It's very simple to do. So Dave, we've been and come across to our Magento admin area and adding in an additional Magento user, especially for the admin role, is very simple to do. And to do that, if you go to system, down to permissions, click on users from the top menu, and this is where you can add a new user. So in the top right hand corner, click on add new user, then on the next screen, this is where you'll want to enter the basic details. Now, there is one thing which you can screw up here. And trust us, we've been and done this a couple <laughs> of times. And Dave's laughing in the background because I think I did it to Dave. So we'll point that out in just a moment. So username. So this is going to be the username that the user can use to log in with Magento. Now, a big tip for you is that what we do within our business is prefix our usernames with Magento underscore and then their name. So we're going to imagine that somebody called Helen wants to join in with our business and we need to set them up as an admin user for our Magento system. And of course, this could be for a developer or an agency or another member of staff within your business is that prefix their name with Magento underscore and it just makes it that little bit harder for someone to try and attack your website because that would then be classed as an obscure username. You would then want to populate their name, so Helen, their surname, again you would put in other details in here, their email address, okay, and it's important that you do put a valid email address in here and do make sure that it is correct because if Helen, in this case, ever needs to reset her password, that is the email address which the forgot password notification will get sent to. Now, in one of the latest versions of Magento, for you to create a new user in your Magento system, you will need to add in your current admin password. So I'm gonna run away, go and grab that, and I'll be back to you in just a second. So I've been and populated our current or my current password because I'm logged in as Magento underscore Matt. You'll also want to set a secure password for that user as well. So don't just type in password. That's a really bad password. We actually use a tool called LastPass and that's going to allow us to create a really secure complex password which we can then pass on to our user. So I'm going to go and choose copy password. I'm then going to paste that into the password and the password confirmation box. And also, I'm going to take a copy of that and pass that on to this new member of staff, this new admin role within our system. You'll want to set the account as being active so the user can actually log in. And that one mistake, Dave, is up here on this tab where it says user role. This is where you'll want to tick or click on the radio button next to administrators. And if you don't do that, when that new member of staff goes to log in their system, they'll just have blank pages with Magento <laughs> and they won't be able to see anything. And Dave's laughing. Yeah, look a little broken. <laughs> yeah, it'll look a little bit broken and that's what it will be. You haven't been assigned that user, the administrator's role to their account. And of course, once you've been and made those changes, press save user in the top right hand corner. And then on the next page, you'll then see that you've got the new user and you can then see that they're active and they will now be able to log in to your Magento system. Was that nice and easy there, Dave? That was super easy. One of my favorite ones yet. <laughs> Excellent. So we hope this video has always been and helped you. Don't forget, you can hit the subscribe button on this video if you're watching it on YouTube. And we've got 300 plus video tutorials over on Understanding E, just like this in complete plain English. So with that said, from myself, Matt. And from me, Dave. Cheerios.